Hey guys, I'm Shay Mitchell. I'm an actress, entrepreneur, beauty junkie, and frequent flyer. I've been juggling work and travel for quite some time, and along the way, I've picked up some secrets. In this series, I'll be opening up my little black book to share some of the people and practices that help make my life a little bit easier. I'm so excited to take you behind the scenes and bring you guys into my world. Subscribe to the Bazaar channel so you don't miss an episode. I have always been obsessed with fashion since I was <laughs> young because I was always watching this show called Fashion Television, which I now guessed is only in Canada. It would just show all the new runway looks of the season and I just loved watching and seeing what people were creating. So now being in this industry and going to different public events and red carpets, I really do get to play around with all of the great fashion of our day. And it's just fun, you know? I really don't take it too seriously because I think that it's meant to be fun. My style is really always evolving. So I may like something one day and not like it the next. But I love seeing people's individual styles no matter how normal or crazy or out there they are. I love that. I like dressing up, definitely. Um, sorry, I thought this was like a speed round for a second, so I was like, dressing up. <laughs> Next. I'm a big fan of costumes when it comes to, you know, my job. And also it allows me to feel a different way when I'm on the carpet, you know, when you borrow a beautiful dress. I love that. It's like Cinderella. So way back when, like good and bad. <laughs> I want to start with bad first. Well, not bad. Like it was cute back in the day and I think I felt like Tyra Banks back then, but I was going to the Paris Pirates of the Caribbean premiere, Ashley Benson and I. I thought I would dress in the theme to the movie, so I was on the lookout for more of like a piratey type dress. <laughs> we were just really excited to be there. There are free churros on the carpet and uh, it was the best. My favorite red carpet fashion moment, honestly not, I mean yes the dress was absolutely stunning, but more so it was just such a memorable experience was the Mother's Day carpet that I did because my family came, my grandma was there and I made her come out on the carpet with me. Ah, I love this photo. I literally brought her out and was like, okay, do your best Marilyn Monroe impression. She's like. <laughs> so I would say some of my looks from this past New York Fashion Week was Kelly and Ryan show. I would say VMA's look. I wore this beaded orange dress. I actually got a car that I could stand in. It was like one of those party buses because I couldn't sit in the dress. So I showed up to the carpet in a party bus. Things you do for fashion. I do. Monica Rose, my fairy god sister in when it comes to style. I started working with Monica this year actually and we first met on a photo shoot that I did with my makeup artist Patrick Ta. Monica is so talented in the things that she pulls and just how she puts them together and she is truly a magician when it comes to clothing and fashion and styling. So today we are actually going to a fitting, we, you and me, um, because I'm gonna be getting ready for Paris Fashion Week. I am very excited about this fitting because Louis Vuitton, which is the show that I am attending in Paris, sent over some really, really beautiful pieces that I can't wait to see and try on. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is so cool. I just love how it's so dramatic. So, I mean, this could be for dinner or totally cash just, dinner. yeah, Bride totally girl. cash. Show up outside of the other shows and like, hello. <laughs> I mean, hello. it's so good. It really is. Yeah. And then we'll try Sunglasses, some sunglasses. Of course. I kind yes. of feel like I'm like a fashion matrix. I was about to say the same thing. Okay, so I have this thing called a mirror face, and it really is just that. When I look at anybody normally face to face, I have normal face. Next look. I love this. Oh, the mirror face. That means she likes mirror it. Mirror face. Let's try these. This is fun. I like this a lot. And then you can either scrunch the boots down. It's kind of cute, the little scrunch up. Look. Yeah, I like that it. This is called a flamingo. It's when you're testing out each heel. Gotta go, gotta go. No photos, please. I think what I love the most about styling you is you like become the character. 100%. Now I'm like Jenny from the block. So like, 
you can tell when somebody's styled or when they're wearing something. Because right. right now in my mind, I'm like a hip hop Parisian fashion. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, bonjour. Comment ça va? Voulez-vous coucher avec de l'eau? But I think I think that's bonjour. what's so great about fashion is that you get you like play with it and you have fun with it. I love this I so much. I love this look. This is what I'm talking about when I said that Monica can literally like change a whole outfit because this dress, as I will show you in a few minutes without the belt or the jacket or anything, doesn't really look like this. This one is very predictable because it like goes with everything, but I'm kind of feeling this bag. I mean, you can definitely take both and see what you're feeling, but I, I love this one. Yeah. I didn't think I would with this look, but I'm not. I'm not mad at it. It's so cute. Yes, I love I it. I think the backpack wins. And I love how we mix vintage with this, like the vintage Versace belt. First day in Patty. Just airport, no big deal. Yeah, this is just <laughs> a casual getting off the airplane look. <laughs> so this is after Monica styled, and this is what it looked like before. Hey guys, welcome to Paris Fashion Week. We are here today. Literally though, if you needed a picnic blanket, I could just sit here. This was actually our first shoot. And I remember. This was their first look that we did. Oh yeah, that one, yeah. And like, this was a dress, and then I tucked it under and added this little vintage. Belt. Yeah, changed the, changed the whole look. This is, I loved it so much. I made it on the wall a few times. Yeah, of saying. course. Oh my gosh, but honestly, my favorite thing about coming to the studio is seeing just all the shoes. It's literally like Carrie Bradshaw. Totally. Before I had them just folded over. You can see And them. I never knew what I had, so I just kept buying the same thing over and over, and next thing you know, I had like six Old velvet section. black boots. They're all different. Yeah, okay, you need 12 pairs of just red and high boots, because yeah. Honestly, Why are we hiding these shoes? These need to be on their own little yeah, pedestal. these little guys are my favorite. Right here, they're mm -hmm. the cutest little Barbie shoes that I attempted to wear one time, yeah, but didn't happened? get a chance to wear them. Too many looks. Too many looks. <laughs> Too many looks, that's the problem. All right, guys, so there you have it. Stay tuned to see the rest of my looks in Paris. But for now, I have to continue with this fitting.